On the desk right below me is four knives that have all been sprayed with salt water. Two are Spyderco knives in M4 steel. Um, one was treated with EDCI formula, uh, which was sent to me to review by Lion Knives. Um, actually, one of my subscribers, uh, Rob, suggested that I review this, and he said, hey, if you get in touch with Lion, they'll send you some, so I did, and he did. So, cool, uh, I have no real knowledge about the product apart from the literature I've sent. I've got no stake in it or anything like that. Um, the information I've got so far is that, um, I think this has been around for a while, um, it used to say food safe on it, and they suspect it still is, but they weren't happy with the level of testing that was done. They're currently in the process of getting further testing done, pretty confident in it from what I hear, and um, but it still doesn't say food safe on the label, so just take that into account. But um, yeah, it's a um, spray on, rub in, wipe off, Corrosion and stain inhibitor, so cleaner and protectant for knives is what it says. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at how after four hours covered in salt water, these knives are done. So what I did was I made saline solution, which was four grams of salt in 100 mils of water. And um, that makes about what's roughly sea level a little bit stronger. And then I just sprayed as liberally as I could across these four knives. Um, what I've done is I've taped the noses of the two M4 knives. So hopefully when I peel that off, you'll get a transition between how it was originally and how it is now. I've, um, I've noted that the finish, I chose these two because the finish was about similar. Spyderco's machine-like finish on their M4 was about in the same order as each other. And I wiped these knives down beforehand with an alcohol swab and then washed them with water and then dried them off before I did it. So they started on an even keel. So without dicking you around too much longer, let's have a look at how they did. Alrighty, so a knife that I knew wouldn't rust was the LC200N. You can see it's just got some salty residue on the blade there, but there's no discoloration whatsoever. That'll just wipe off and be fine. Uh, the AUS8, no sorry, the 8CR13MOV, another real, um, uh, you know, common steel. This wasn't treated, this was just sprayed with salt water to show what salt water will do to a stainless steel knife over a few hours. Um, so you can see some spots of, of um, rust there. Now, these are the two that were in question. And what I can tell you is that the mantra was not treated with EDCI and the advocate was. So there is a pretty stark difference in what those droplets have done. On the advocate, they've more or less just sat on the surface and sort of crystallized back into salt as they've evaporated. With the mantra, they've taken some surface sheen with them and started forming some orange rust. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll just run in some macro shots of all this, then I'll take off the tape. So there is the advocate. It is not perfect, but this is M4 steel, remember. And this is a steel that I often hear people say, oh no, my M4 is rusted on me. Um, it's a quite a rust prone steel. And you can see there is some, and this is yet to be wiped with anything. There is some brown dotting just all towards the spine into the middle there. But I guess the real contrast here and the point to this video is this one here. So this is the, it was sprayed with exactly the same stuff. And um, it is definitely, uh, the rust has gotten much further into the steel. Um, you know, and all this is still superficial. I'm pretty confident I'll be able to clean even this knife up to, you know, pretty much unnoticeable. But yeah, I chose these M4 knives because this is the sort of thing you get this spray to protect. Expensive knives in non-stainless non um, carbon steel or uh, high-speed steel. Because this is, a, you're, you're probably not getting this to protect your, your 8CR13 MOV knives. But if you're a bit of a knife nerd like me and you have knives in the super steels that aren't in the rust free super steels, then um, yeah, this is kind of what you're going to get. So spraying it with this. And the cool thing is you spray it and then you wipe it off. So obviously it just remains with a very thin film of the stuff. And um, yeah, so you really don't notice that the knife's covered in. Often the greases that you'll use or the WD 40s have a really strong smell to them or they'll leave a sticky film. There was no sticky film from the EDCI, which was really, really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that result. Um, and yeah, just seeing like, that's obviously LC200N. And that's the, um, you know, that's what, so it's basically done what a stainless steel will do. In fact, it's actually even a little bit better. So M4 with EDCI is at least as good as a 
well, actually I'd say it's better than a stainless steel. So it kind of upgrades your M4 to being, you know, having those more resistant qualities. At least that's what it seems from here. Anyway, let's take off that tape and see how it is. So you see there a pretty stark difference. This was the surface that was exposed um, from having the um, EDCI on it. This one, some water has got under it, but I think what, uh, and it actually has rusted just a tiny little bit at the tip. But I think what does it is, what, and obviously this would make sense, rust, rust is oxidization. It is the process of the water evaporating off the knife and then taking some of the steel away with it. That's at least how it seems. But yeah, you can see there, that one there. And then let's get this off the poor old advocate. There we go. So again, this one wasn't as hard done by by the rust, but you can see the, the cleaner uh, end that was behind the tape there. So yeah, now what I'll do is I'll clean both knives up as best I can and show the after results of that. Just using standard dish washing detergent from Aldi. Just putting a, whoop, putting a blob on each one, rubbing them in. And then I'll just use the rough side of the sponge to get um, as much of that surface stuff off as I can. So the mantra is going to be the one that's going to have the issues, I think. We'll just have a look. Even then, yeah, definitely not the end of the world. Coming off pretty nicely with the... Um... So as I said, like even that's after four hours. That'll show you what you might get stuck with. Um, but yeah, even still, you can rescue most blades. I mean, there's going to be some... I'll show you up close afterwards. There might be some parts where it's a little bit more hard to get off, but um, even that, definitely rescuable. And the advocate's not gonna have any worries at all. Just the rough side of a sanded kitchen sponge. And then I'll rinse both of these off entirely. And then I'll spray them. <laughs> Once I've dried them, I'll spray them both with EDC, EDCI because Pretty impressed with this stuff to be honest. So yeah, um, geez, you can almost see here, these are both gone back to almost being fine. But um, there are a couple little dots along the edge of the mantra that may need a little bit of work. But apart from that, pretty darn good, that's for sure. So yeah, final thoughts. Um, well, I think the results spoke for themselves. Um, if you're in a position where your knife probably you know, gets left out, um, a little bit and you maybe can't get to with it, get it to it within, you know, maybe you go to work and you remember that your knife's you know, left on your workbench or something like that. Um, having it coated in EDCI is probably going to make it a little bit more, um, well actually seemingly a lot more resistant to whatever elements were last left on it. So uh, that's a salt water test. Uh, if you like, I can do some citrus testing as well. Um, so yeah, I did purposefully choose high-end, like relatively high-end knives because I think this is probably the market that this stuff is for. The high-end knives and the tool steels and um, in the, um, you know, M4s through to um, Rex 121s and all, all the things in between, uh, K390s and whatnot. Uh, but then even your stainless steels could certainly benefit from an extra little coating of this. You see that the um, Advocate really did perform about the same level, in fact, even a little bit more than the um, stainless um, 8CR13. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed and hope you found this of interest. You can get EDCI in Australia through Lion Knives and uh, I think it's pretty easy to obtain um, overseas um, wherever else you are. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.